Okay. Yo, what's up, guys? This is your boy Blady Gang Gang, and I'm back again. Finally making videos, and I just found out that BlueStack finally supports iOS, so that's one of the main reasons why I decided to make this video. Because most importantly, it's lag free now. <laughs> you know, when I was when I was recording on my phone, like phones were just not meant to be recorded on and I was just getting massive lags even with the new iPhones so today I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little you know sunset I guess just to show you that I'm back just make something fun let's do something fun guys let's do um, let's fight others with uh, majority epic commanders only okay hmm, so who should I fight uh, let me see. I'm gonna give myself a little cheat cheat here. So I'm only gonna fight the people in uh, 5 through 10. Rank 5 through 10. Okay. Let me, let me find one guy. Should I fight Paul Bear? Huh. No, he's too danky. Let me see. Uh, maybe Quabert. Oh, his. <laughs> His lineup looks pretty good too. I'm pretty scared. Who should I fight? Who should I fight? Rapids or Utsi? I don't want to fight D. He's like, he's not a T5 yet. What about Utsi? Oh, maybe I can work with this. Hmm. Utsi or Panka? Let me fight. Let's fight Panka. Yeah, let's fight Panka. What rank is he? Or what power? 83 million power. Okay, so let's uh, let's do something really fun here, guys. Let's. I'm gonna give myself a little cheat cheat. I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use none other than your typical YSG and Athelflaed. Um. So I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this mixed troop right here. 5,000, 15,000 of each. And then Archer, max on that. And then what should I do? Can I use my Richard? Come on guys, can I use my Richard? I would say, yeah, let me use Richard because my Richard is pretty shitty. It's only 5443. Is that okay with you guys? Yes, no. I'll use it anyways. <laughs> you know what? No, no, I, I, won't, I won't use it. Maybe, uh, you know, most free to play players don't have Richard. I don't know. So let me see, let me see, let me see. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use... Well, I need a tank now. I need something to face tank everything. Uh, I would suggest... Let me try... Sun Tzu, and then I'm gonna try. Who puts Joanne the secondary? Okay, it's gonna be. I'm gonna use the swarm tactic, and then uh, this one is going to be. I'm gonna use Kara. Okay, my Kara is actually pretty decent. Five three two three. I can't wait till she's expertise because once she, once she's expertise, this is actually a a great commander for. Uh, free to play players uh, Expertise she does uh, damage to three people enemies in a, in a cone shape thousand damage factor uh, Every target hit decreased by 15% But the the expertise part is what I like to enemies that are damaged by this skill deals continuous damage by 200 so that's 400 the, the 400 damage is true damage. It doesn't factor into 15% you know, so if you're hitting one target, that's that's 1,400 damage. You know, 
and then obviously three people. That's that's just really good AOE damage return in general. So what I'm gonna use as her secondary is uh why not Kusunoki? You know? Kusunoki is actually a pretty great commander for Epic. He hits pretty hard. Three targets, uh, 250 for two seconds, so 500. But what I like about him is that he's got this four skill that does additional potential damage of 900 for each target. Each target that he hits, there's a 10% for that. So like, if you're if that procs with his first skill like you're gonna see like crazy amounts of uh numbers popping up so i'm gonna use that and then my my fourth troop what is it gonna be guys let me use minamoto come on give me a ah well fuck. okay i won't use them i'll use Bavar. i'll use Bavar as uh primary you know for aoe damage again and then who should i put as second i could put belisarius or pelagius or i could put mehmet yeah let's try mehmet actually guys my mehmet is pretty messed up so it's good that the fourth skill is max gives me a 10 percent capacity but my second skill is just so garbage and i'm pretty sure if you guys have been playing this game for a long you know duration getting those golden keys would give you guys some mid mid sculpts so he's gonna be my kind of a cheat cheat commander so we're gonna use him and then who should i use to tank the other four. Huh, let me see. <sighs> I don't have. The only high commander I have is decent commanders. Uh, I could try Belisarius. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use I'm gonna use low hard. <laughs> I'm gonna use low hard to tank, you know. And then what I'm gonna do to him is I'm gonna give him CPO. CPO actually CPO actually makes him really tanky. Reduces damage taken by troops by 25% and increases contract damage by 25% for five seconds. So you know what it says reduces damage taken, right? So that means it reduces all damage taken. So normal attack and skill damage, all sorts of damage. So that actually is pretty good. So I'm actually gonna do that. I'm just gonna have Laura low hard just because he's max level. And then this is how it's gonna be. I think this looks good. So yeah, this is how it's gonna be guys. I'm gonna swarm his Sun Tzu and they're gonna attack my Lohar and then oh yeah guys by the way keep in mind my Kira and my Vibers my Lohar they don't have equipments so it's like fair game to them but obviously my Aetherflat and my Sun Tzu does so what's, go what's gonna happen is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna swarm his Sun Tzu he's gonna swarm my Lohar and after that uh, we're gonna swarm each other and it goes in order like this okay so because we're in um so my son too would get sworn first and then after he dies they would my kira my kira gets targeted next and after that baybar is next and after that at the flat is last that's why people always put at put at the flat and ysg in the corner like this you know it's either she's like this or she's like up here like that they do that because they want her to be targeted last. So same thing with, with Panka. Um, after his Witcher dies, his, and then we target his at the flat, and after he dies, we'll go for the Genghis Khan, and then Kusunoki last. So let's get this started, and hopefully, guys, hopefully, hopefully I pull out win. 
Oh my! Oh, they're hitting my low heart really hard. Six thousand. Okay, CPO pop brought the damage down to four thousand. Okay, okay. Okay, this is good. This is good. So this is this is really good for me because I killed his Sun Tzu last, so I never got out of battle. So by the time he came to me, my rage was still regening. So this is really good for me, but it's not going out really well. The Richard. The Richard is too fucking OP. Oh shit guys, I just realized if I lose, I'm gonna lose like 25 points. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh man. Ouch. Yeah, I lost 26 points. Rip. Still rank one, but that that was pretty pathetic. So let me see. I think I really need that Richard. Uh, so obviously my my at the flat with the main killer with 31,000 kills. My low heart didn't do jack shit. Um, and then his main killer was. I guess Genghis Khan, but it was pretty average with Richard and Amplified. So you know what? You know what, guys? Let me give myself my let me give myself a Richard, cause my Richard's not even like all that. So if I can if I can kill if I can zero his Richard, then that means I go for his Amplified next, and it has a YSG in it. Then I can I can zero that pretty fast. And and if I if I'm able to kill his Richard, that means I pretty much win. Assuming. Let me try this. <sighs> I'm gonna take out I'm gonna take out Lohar. Put in some too. Guys, if I fucking lose again, I'm gonna rage. That means I'm gonna drop 26 points again. <laughs> I'm gonna use uh, CPO or Uji. Let me try Uji. Uji Mundak. Alright, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm able to beat him this time. Alright, let's try again. Alright, so before they were auto attacking my low heart for 5,000. But now it's been re reduced to, you know, 4,400, I guess. 3,500, okay, that's good. See, this is good. Like my my Richard's doing a good job tanking. Okay, now it's my my Richard versus his Richard. Uh, my Baybars is dying, but that's fine, I guess, because his gang is kind of like same HP as well. Okay. Guys, look at all the spray damage, all the AOE damage that my my comp is doing. Oh, my Richard ended up dying anyways, okay. But that's fine because he survived long enough for my Atheflat to just clean it up. Whew! Thank God! I didn't want to lose again. Okay, guys. And yeah, that's how it is. That's how you have fun with Epic Commanders. To be honest, I think Epic Commanders are really fun to play. It's just that they need a buff. They need damage buff, sustain buff, 
support buff, whatever buff. But yeah, let's see. So, so I lost 26 points just to get, just to gain eight points back. All right, GG guys.